All right, hello, Jack Bosch here and Michelle Bosch. Wonderful, with the Ultimate Boardroom more, www.ultimateboardroom.com. Uh, this morning, Michelle and I, after bringing our daughter to school, went for a nice breakfast and in the table behind us, there were two went entrepreneurs. On a, on a date. On a date, yes. <laughs> Uh, we run our business together, but you also want to make sure that we have extra time uh, for the two of us. And on the table behind us, there was a couple of guys sitting and uh, discussing business growth, business scaling, and their overwhelm and, and so on, as, as obviously one of them had reached a ceiling. And no matter what he did, how many people he added, what he could do in his company, he just could not ex exceed that. So we wanted to actually, we started talking about that, what causes that and so on. And, and uh, Michelle has made a very, very good argument of how that happens and uh, how to also overcome it. So uh, Michelle, why don't you share that? Yeah, so what I was sharing with Jack this morning was that yes, CEOs usually reach the ceiling of complexity where you cannot grow your business no matter what you do, no matter how many more hours you put into the business. Um, and, and, and if you continue for a long extended period of time uh, doing that, which a lot of CEOs do because, you know, business requires this incredible uh, warrior mentality and resiliency. But what can happen is that it can lead to burnout and 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 burnout in 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 many aspects burnout physically you know where your body starts you know breaking down uh the general well-being is not there it could learn it, it, it could lead to you know burnout at home where you don't have the patience that uh that you should have you know for the people that matter most in your life and and so on and so forth and so and so what happens is that in order to push through that ceiling um you need to grow as, as a person, as a leader. And what I mean by that is that you need to grow and move or shift your mentality from being an employer of employees to being a leader of a team. Now, explain that a little bit. You also, you also mentioned something this morning that, of, that you mentioned that you have to let go. Yeah. And those things relate to each other. But explain first, uh, what's the difference between a leader and a employer? It sounds kind of the same thing to most people, right? So they do sound the same, but they're not the same. In that okay. an employer is basically having people in there working for them that are there for, for the nine to five, you know, to pay their bills, that really don't care about the vision and mission of the company, um, and 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 that are just there. They they don't act as as owners. They don't act as a team member. You know, as 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 part of a team. Uh, they 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 pull in their own direction, and as and as long as there's alignment, you know, between the company and um and and them getting a paycheck. This is all they care about. And um, when you are actually instead of being an employee when you're actually a leader, you know, you have people that are committed to, to your vision and to your, and to your mission success. And, um, and that will do everything it takes, you know, to make, uh, to make that into a reality, to materialize it. And so, and so it requires the leader to go from, um, uh, from being the smartest person in their company or the smartest person in the room to really uh, being the person that can find the smartest person within your organization or f bring it from the outside into your company. yeah. And for them to be willing to take a step back and letting those people that know how to do things better than yourself absolutely, to actually take charge and do things to a certain degree their way. Now, obviously, their way as long as it aligns with the vision and the focus of the company and the spirit of the company and so on. But uh, you find once you transition to becoming a leader that people in your company, if you let them, if you help them step up, if you help them fill that role, that they actually do many things better than you better than you possibly could have done it yeah. ever. And, and, and you as a leader, you have to create a framework. It's not that you're just letting, you know, uh, letting loose and letting go of the reins, you know, yes. entirely. Management uh, by application is not leadership. It's not leadership, absolutely. It, it means that you're creating a framework for, you know, for letting go and for letting others that have genius in areas in which you're competent or you might have a superior skill, but that you don't love and that energize you and that frankly do not have to do with CEO duties like, um, like it is your obligation to 
basically be looking out and anticipating the you know the future of the company uh placing the company in the right track and direction for future growth that is the job of the ceo and if you're not doing that because you're spending your time you know working on a spreadsheet because you have superior skills in that you know um you're not doing your role as ceo um as you should be doing you know and so there will be somebody i bet you anything somebody in your organization that has a superior skill and that absolutely is energized by working on spreadsheets that could be doing that for you and that's just a small example yes absolutely so so here's a little uh, a little takeaway for you guys um just wanted to make that distinction between leader and employer Excellent. and uh if you're one of those what we often call seven figure entrepreneurs that are stuck in a seven figure trap the seven figure trap is exactly that when you're mostly an employer not yet the leader as you transition from that that's when you are able to reach more because it's not one brain that coming up with everything and then a bunch of ants doing things but it's a bunch of brain coming up with them you steering them and and the entire ship raises with that so as you as you step into that role your company will grow again yeah because Now, you're creating basically you're building leaders either from the inside right. you know or, or bringing them, bring them outside outside and letting them fly so Absolutely. i mean and 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 rise so uh so here's a quick tangible thing for you to do Uh, just take a piece of paper right now and put down the main, I don't know, five, ten, twenty different positions in your company. Or if you, depending on how many people you have for your company, if it's only five or ten, put 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 all the names of the people in there. Put all the departments and the department heads on there and the people that work there. And then ask yourself: Are you an employer to them or are you a leader to them? Uh, ask yourself. Are they, do they have wiggle room in how to do certain things? And it makes sense for them to not have wiggle room if there's on a, if they're in a factory where everything needs to be done a certain way. Uh, that, that makes sense. But, but if you want to be a leader in that kind of environment, you got to rely on automation of what can be automated, systems automation, technology automation. But above the technology, there's always human beings. Yeah. And those human beings need to be leaders and you need to be able to groom them and instead of just employing them and micromanaging them that leads to that ceiling if you let them bloom that does uh, that that breaks that ceiling so write down on a piece of paper what are those people what are those positions and are you being an employer or are you being a leader and uh, how to take steps to actually m become a better leader we're actually going to talk about in another video in another video so, all right uh, we hope that you guys found this helpful Yes, and if you did, share the video, comment under the video. Uh, we would love to, to get your feedback on it. Uh, tell your friends about the video if it was, uh, if it was any, uh, beneficial. So, and thank you very much. There's going to be many more of those. Thank you. Bye.